Hi, yeah, hello again. Yeah, yeah good nice to see you. See you yeah, very good. Yeah. Good. So, uh, t- tell me about the business. Well, we are one of those eight. Yeah. Oh, really? There are okay. Only three left. So we're yeah. one of the people that started the PPM, yeah. founded the PPM in the first place. Very yeah. proud of that. Very yeah. That. I've been Absolutely. doing the show since. And uh, so this is the sort of thing we make machines in the UK. Yeah. Where, where are you based? From abroad, in Whitchurch in Hampshire. Okay. Yeah. Right. So that's quite good. Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, with our neighbours, solar over there. Right. So, okay. Yeah. And. Uh, your, okay. your, your link with the Maastricht Treaty is quite important there, yeah? because up until 1992, we, our business, used to, make, uh, our business was importing machines from Europe. Yep. And of course, 1992, all the trade barriers came down. Yep. So no one needed us anymore. Yeah. So we spent all the time since making our own machines yeah. so we can sell them to, we, we, so we can go the yeah. other way. So no, it's fantastic. It well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Genton Ariana, so you, is this, is your, 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 what are you? Yeah, uh, well, Ariana is the brand, is a company that was started in Southampton uh, yep. a few years ago, and it manages for manufacturing automation equipment for the food industry. Right. So the, the, the large packaging machines that make, yep. that make packs like this, we do the various attachments and accessories to go around. Okay. So for efficiency point of view, they yep. quite often chuck out 10, 15, 20 packs at the same time. Yeah. What we then do with a machine like this is we then release them one by one through a mechanical funnel, so they go down one by one. Right. And then one by one, then they can be, uh, they go through labeling or right. price labeling. Yeah. Everything yeah. is all lot, I mean, legislation is really good mm. for selling machines. Yeah. Because things like you know, weights and measures, everything has to be correct. Yeah. And so there are check weighing machines and all yeah. like that. This machine over here behind, it's also made, this is made in Bedford, the company Damasco. So okay. Uh, yeah. Um, this company will actually check mm. every label okay. to make sure that the labels are correct. Right. So, for example, automatically online, you can check and make sure that the weight is correct, the country of origin is correct, okay. and that saves a yeah. fortune when it comes to um, supermarkets not yeah. rejecting goods yeah. because they are yeah. good. So it's very important that people make because more and more automation means there's less people yeah. checking things. Yeah. The machines have to check it for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we get involved in that. And yeah. this. The big thing at the moment is all to do with sustainability. Yep. So saving food waste. Yeah. On a on a classic pack like that, a very large proportion of the carbon that is in a pack is in the product, not okay. in the packaging. Yep. Yep. So with a machine like this or the much larger ones, the online systems we yep. do, yep. we can check every pack. Okay. And if it leaks, and if it does leak, mm. we can then reject it at a point where it can be repacked. Right. So you yeah. you save the carbon yeah, in the yeah. product, yeah. but then you uh, and then you just simply do the repackaging. Yeah. So sustainability is a yeah, really, very, is very, a really yeah. big issue yeah. for what's going on everywhere. Yeah. At the so you would have a lot of these things kind of in in uh, in line, as it were. Yes, I mean a classic a, a, a classic company making pita yeah. breads, for example. Yeah. They would buy the machine for making the pita bread for somebody else. Yeah. Or for, for packing the pit of bread, that from our point of view, though, we'll do the machine that will test the pack to yeah. see if it leaks. Yeah. We bring it into line, we yeah. stack them on top of each other, yeah. and then later on we'll check them to make sure that the, the printing on the label is correct. Yeah, yeah. And so okay. And, uh, and Great. Various, I mean, yeah. uh, over 40 years we've changed yeah. a lot. We make plastic bags and, yeah. and all sorts of other things. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good opportunity. And how's the how, what, what's business like now? Is uh, it's, it's, at the moment, we're we're on. It's, it's a slow and steady growth. Mm. We have been missing out a bit on exports. Yeah. So in the last few, you know, we're we're, we're getting some business. From, yeah. Uh, a lot of it's from Europe because you can go there in a van. Yeah. Which I know it's great to do with India, but it's really handy to go in a van. Go on, sure. <laughs> so you can yeah. Take a machine with you. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, quite. And so we're gradually growing into that market. Yeah. I mean, because. It, you know, rather like doing an exam, it's really difficult to get 80%, but it's quite easy to get 20%. Yeah. So 20% in each country yeah. would be a really nice opportunity. No, absolutely. So we've, yeah. we've got machines recently gone into Sweden, we've got them in Belgium, yeah. we've just sold some of these machines to, yeah. uh, uh, to, um, to Crete. Yep. Okay. And it's doing, doing very well. And, um, and of course, uh, exchange rate is not unhelpful at the moment. Uh, well, it depends how you look at it, because we also import machines. Yeah, okay, That, right. that yeah, week, yeah. the yeah. Brexit week, cost us £40,000. I did it, okay. Which, clearly, I would have rather spent on beer and sweets. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that that wasn't so good. Yeah. So, um, and uh, yeah. we, uh, I, I'm a... So you're importing as well as exporting? We do. Well, yeah. Say, yes. Yeah. I mean, well, as I said, when we started, yeah. it was all import. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And we, we import these machines over here, the, the, the band, the, the simple bands around things. Yeah. Uh, but then we do make our own automation to go with them. So okay. it's, it's just sort of mix. It's yeah, a mix yeah. Match. Uh, absolutely. Match. 
And the, we also get involved a lot in, we used to import a lot of equipment for ultraviolet disinfection and ultraviolet curing. Okay. And we now make it. Okay. So the UV lamps that yep. we use for yep. uh, killing bugs in food factories yep. again, yep. stopping waste, yep. stopping uh, sustainability, yep. we now make them. Brilliant. And we have, uh, we've got about 20 patents on that. Mm, in fantastic. fact, in fact, in fact, I take advantage of the situation. Mm. One of the big things that would we talk about UK supporting the UK. Yeah. So what's really strange in the UK is that in we get the state, for example, teaches you maths. Yeah. And then the state will judge you on how well you've done it. Yeah. And if you do really well, it give you an A level. Yeah. Or, do, or not, not quite the state, but it is. It is a. It's a, it works both ways. Yeah. With intellectual property and with patents, mm. the state, through the patent, the, the, the patent office, will judge what you've done, but mm. it doesn't give you a great amount of help to get it right in the first place. Yeah, yeah. And one, we, we, I think, if I've got a sort of um, little flag to wave, mm. it's that a patent is rather more than just an individual asset. Yeah. It's a state asset as well. Okay. The various patents we've got that we've yeah. only, you know, we've got them in Germany, we've got them in America, we've got yeah. them in the UK, because we can't afford to do it worldwide. Right. But if it's any good, yeah. I'd be perfectly happy to share it or give it mm. to the state in order to expo exploit. And that's something. That's an interesting idea. Products, yeah. Intellectual property. Yeah. yeah. And I would love to take that one a little further. Yeah. There's an opportunity. To no, it's it. very interesting idea actually. Um, and. Um, so you do a sort of equity share, if you like, in it. I mean, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, in Germany, for example, there are in Germany there are you pay less for a patent, you pay less for the patent process, provided that you are willing to license it on standard terms. Yeah. Which, which is yeah. one thing. Yeah. But there are other areas where perhaps if there's a if there's got a good idea, say mm. say my UV disinfection, that could be quite a good thing. Yeah. Um, and it could make a lot of money for the UK. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, you know, you, there's a limit to how big you are. I can't afford to do all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So very interesting. We benefited. Yeah. A, we benefited a lot from the Smart Award program. Right. I was a big fan of Smart yep. Awards. And we used to go around encouraging people to get Smart Awards. And I yep. did a lot of work government of the South East uh, in those days. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we ran the Smart Winners Club and all yeah. sorts of other stuff. And I thought they were great. Yeah. But they, they, that was about the only. The only thing I remember where there was actually help to get the prints like Yeah, something. yeah. So. Interesting. Now I'll tuck that one away. It's Thank a good you thought. Very much. Great to see you. Well, lovely to meet you. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thanks for coming along. And, uh, and thanks for coming to the show. It's a really no, it's good pleasure. show. This. No, it's a pleasure. The PPMA is. Um, yeah. It's the high point of our year. From yeah. The yeah. Point of yeah. Year, no, so. no. It's really good. Great stuff. Lovely. Nice to see you. See you again. Cheers. Bye.